Welcome back to Al's kitchen. Um, yeah, it is Al, excuse the mullet. I've had a little bit of surgery going on under this hat. If you wanna find out why I'm wearing the hat, you're gonna have to check me out on Instagram. All the pictures are on there. Apart from that, I'm saying no more about it. Anyway, so this week, I'm gonna be teaching you a foolproof way how to cook your lovely basmati rice. Many of us get in a pickle, making our rice, it comes out too sticky, gungy, sloppy, not nice and fluffy, just like we get in some of the top restaurants. Now I said to you that I've devised a foolproof way, um, and I'm calling this foolproof way, 35 stop, because we're gonna soak it for 30 minutes, boil it for up to five minutes, and then we're gonna stop the cooking process. And you're gonna see how perfect rice comes out that I enjoy it for myself and my family. So I'm calling it foolproof. I went on the dictionary to find out exactly, specifically what foolproof means. A foolproof method or a plan or system so well designed that it cannot go wrong or is certain to succeed. If you try this method out and it doesn't succeed, don't look at me, don't look at your branded rice, go find a mirror and think, it's me, I'm just a fool. I can't follow simple instructions. All jokes aside, let's crack on. I'll show you how I cook my 35 stock perfect basmati rice. Okay, so after soaking this rice for 35 minutes, I'm gonna basically rinse it through, and this is to remove any um, factory residue, starch, and really make sure that the grains are nice and clean. Now I've got this little knack where I'll either balance me pot in the sink or on the lip of my double-sided sink, and I'll just leave this for a few minutes and let the water keep cascading over the sides of the pot, and basically, eventually, it will flush through and run clear. Make sure you wash your rice thoroughly. We don't want all this cloudy residue in there. I would also suggest that when you soak the rice, you soak it in a small pot, as small as you can get away with, because um, we're gonna be boiling it in a big pot, and you're gonna see what I mean in a second. See how lovely and clear the water's run through now? Okay, so drain the rice thoroughly. Okay, so I brought a large pan of water to the boil and we're just gonna season this with a teaspoon of salt. And remember I said using a small pan, small saucepan into a large saucepan. That's because you can literally just lower the saucepan into the large one and let all that rice flush out. Give it a little swirl. A little more again, that's it. Alexa, set four minute timer. So we're gonna basically simmer this for four minutes in a large saucepan. As the water turns in, it's gonna basically start churning the rice around. This enables that every grain gets nice and evenly cooked. Okay, so this has been cooking for around four minutes. I think the sweet spot is four minutes, 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna give it a few more seconds more. Alexa, stop. Right, I think this is ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna thoroughly drain this rice. So we've soaked it for 30 minutes. We boiled it up to five, precisely four minutes, 30 seconds. And now it's time to stop. Right, what do I mean by stop? I'm about to show you. But I actually find this process even better. So sitting now we're just gonna fill that up with cold water. Totally stop the cooking process. Beautiful rice, all nice and cooked. And now we're gonna drain that and that is ready to stain. Okay, so now we've um, drained the rice. Take a look at that. So look at this rice, look. Nice and loose grain. There we go. Now, I usually cook my rice the day before I want it. Just gives you one thing less to do, doesn't it? So you're cooking your curries and uh, your rice is already done. It's had a time to mature and dry out. So look at that, beautiful. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stain the rice. So you know you go in the restaurants and they serve you pilau rice and you've got all the colours going on there. It looks like gem rice or jewel rice. I know a lot of people like it like this. Now you are using artificial colouring and this is the type they use in the restaurants. Let me put it to the camera. It's TRS brand. I get a lot of people buying liquid colourings on um, Amazon and other places and the liquids just don't quite set properly. And um, these ones, you've really got to be careful with them because they're very, very strong. If you get them on your hands, they stain your hands. I mean, only bleach gets the staining out. And uh, you really need to use it quite sparingly. So here goes. What I'm just going to do is I've got three teaspoons, three small containers and a small amount of water. And I'm just going to use the tip of a teaspoon for the red. The 
Same again for the green. Like I say, be careful with these. This is TRS brand. For the green. And again for the yellow. You can use orange. You don't even have to use all three colors. You can just do one color. Um, some people are not gonna wanna use these because they don't like artificial coloring in their food. Um, what I would say to that is um, if you eat Neapolitan ice cream or Neapolitan cake, or cakes in general, many of them have artificial colours in them. Going back to the rice briefly, I'm not sponsored, but this is my preferred brand. I've eaten many rices over the, over the years, as you can probably imagine, and this is the best brand of rice I've found to date, even beating the famous one beginning with T, ending with A. Well, so now I've uh, put the colouring in these tiny containers. Just gonna give that spoon a rinse. Right, and all you want is just like virtually a teaspoon in each one. That does it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna swirl them around just to dissolve the, uh, the color in. Give them a little swirl. We've got a mess already. Like I say, be careful. And right, to stain the rice, you're literally just going to want to put a tiny amount in three separate spots. So, there's the red. Don't put a lot of the colouring in because the colouring will settle on the bottom of the bowl and it's going to stain a lot more rice than you need. Right, is the, the greeny one. And now the yellow. And that's how you stain the rice. Let's have a look. Now what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put some cling film over it. And it's going to go in the fridge. Um, I would say let this set for around three hours. Otherwise, um, if, you, if you take it out of the fridge too prematurely before turning it in, it's basically going to bleed into all the rice and you're going to have rainbow rice. Only really good for a um, pride festival. So I've prepared one earlier and uh, when I want the rice for my curries, all I do is microwave it for four minutes and the rice is ready to go. I mean, it's, it's already cooked. You're literally using the, the, the residual uh, moisture that we left on the rice to create a steam and it all fluffs up. So I'm going to put this one in the fridge and show you one I did yesterday. Four minutes in the microwave and we're going to be ready to go. So there we go. You'll microwave it for as long as it takes to get it nice and piping hot. So let's have a look how we're getting on here. It's really hot. So like I said, I uh, prepared this yesterday, exactly 24 hours ago. And you see those lovely um, rice grains? Let's have a look, let's have a, give that a shake. It's all coming together, can't you? Take the spoon, take it from the outside in. Look at that, beautiful rice. Absolutely stunning. Spiraling, it goes anti-clockwise, see? Take a close up of that. Every color, so we've got the yellow or the gold, the green, the red. Look at that, look at that lovely, uh, every individual grain. I mean, the kids are gonna love this and if they don't eat rice, I think when they see this, they just might. I'm gonna put the rest of this in a large bowl. No, not that beautiful? Look at this, the way it falls. Uh, not sticky at all. Isn't that beautiful? So this is how you do perfect, foolproof, coloured basmati rice. Right, now it's time for a little taste test. Have a look at this. Just look at this rice. Let me just keep turning that in the camera, look. Nice and fluffy. Mmm, absolutely beautiful. Light and fluffy. Every individual grain is cooked perfectly. I can't get better than that. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. There'll be more curries coming from me. I thought I'd stick with a nice easy one today, what with my um my nut going undergoing surgery and um i'll be back with some authentic curries some bir curries some curries nonetheless anyway i'm out and i'm out of here